Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Now I was reviewing some of your comments yesterday and a lot of you were kind of quite hyped about the new character and obviously, <coughs> sorry you got a bit of a cough, a few of you were kind of kind of along the, the way I asked. Alice Walton said a brilliant comment here. It's Phoebus. So basically um, telling me how to say the name, Phoebus. So thank you, Alice. You're an absolute god. I'm gonna, that comment needs to be pinned because someone's got to tell me how to speak. So we've got Phoebus and a lot of you are hyped for him. And I think he's going to be such a phenomenal speed up tank. Like I haven't really seen a character like that for a while, really. Um, so I finished Lucas Prize Wall as well. We got enough shards to max them out, as you saw last week. I haven't done it yet, but we've got them to yellow 22, level 350. Well, actually, I kind of have maxed them out. So we've also got Baymax maxed out again. Um, and yeah, and they're re obviously, like, like I said as well, they're reworking the arena mode. So I'm very excited to see how that's going to chip in as well. I think we've got quite a cool few things that will be coming from the arena mode. So I'm kind of hyped for that. In, I mean, in hope that, let's say it slightly, in hope that the arena mode rewards are actually going to be tiered up nicely. Because I'm a little bit concerned that they won't be. Um, But they have said they're reworking arena. So just do make sure that as soon as that update comes out, you're in the arena and Coliseum as much as possible. I hope what they don't do is lower the amount of like diamonds that you get. Because I quite like the daily diamonds. I'd enjoy it if they lifted that up. But I want to kind of spend today. I love I love doing the arena battles. Um, I'm still doing my Shigo combo. It's still the armor combo. I want to. I I should have put Luca in this actually. So bolts a nice extra touch just to finish off the characters at the moment with the skill power. Oh, this is going to be a close one actually. Yes, he's. I don't know if bolt will kill. Yes, look at that. Three lasers every time is where the damage is. So let's try another one here. Did I fail? I failed this one. So let's take off Shigo and put on the new character, the Donnies. Let's see what they can do. They're probably going to die straight away. But let's see. <coughs> they died straight away. I didn't even get a hit out. Zeus just annihilated my team. So, okay, let's try that. Let's take Pocahontas off for now. Let's put Ian on to get that reflect in. Lovely. So let's take a look now. So Ian should rather just... <sighs> Obviously Ian stays alive, but because the basic damage, the reflect isn't doing anything. So he's just, he just stood there and had to fight off five people <laughs> as they were running towards him. So I'm still a little bit stuck on that one. I don't think um, Luca and Alberto are actually going to do, are going to be much help at all at the moment in this one. Um, but let's put Joy back on and see. Again, I think I'm going to get killed by... Oh! Luca's still alive. Shigo's still going strong. Luca's still alive. Luca's whizzing through. He's healing himself. Look at the buffs on Luca. It's so stupid. He's such a, just a stupid character. Uh, just flying through everyone. I mean... I'm still not really sure about Luke. I just thought I'd level him up because I like to try and level up all the new characters. But, yeah, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. He's he's certainly a good character. But at the moment, we don't have anyone who's topped Baymax, in my opinion. Baymax is just the top character still. I, I mean, Luke is obviously probably going to be really good when it's not a stupid um, arena mode where you can't do normal damage. But, yeah, that's a little bit upsetting really in my opinion i would have liked to have seen a little bit more damage come from that so let's take a look here obviously um week four or four ends and that's probably when the update will come out so as you can see these teams are a lot more well thought out because they've all got shigo uh, sorry they've all got zeus in there again i think a lot of people are missing out on having shigo in their teams on the ones where it's only um fantastic damage because she's one of the best characters for it so that does kind of confuse me a little bit that we don't see that but I want to bring your attention today to the new character and how good he is going to be when the actual 
when he's actually in game. There's loads of stuff. And now I haven't collected my mailbox for a few days. I'm lazy. Don't judge me. So I would love to see Phoebus crossed with Baymax. <laughs> oh, God. Can you imagine? I think that's going to be such a stupid combo. Because Baymax is going to fly across the screen. And then Phoebus is just going to go speed up. Stuns. I just think those two tanks with joy are going to be phenomenal. So I had a couple of people messaging me, asking me who I think he'll go well with. So if you're going to use Phoebus, and I guess I can say this for every character, I think every character crosses with Baymax very, very well. So I'd love to just have Phoebus crossed with Baymax. Two phenomenal tanks up front. We've got Baymax who's shielding everybody, who's controlling all the characters at the start then we've got phoebus who's also like another control character where he's stunning people and also um speeding up the your team so we've got shields and speed ups just from the tanks and then you drop joy in and then joy's using all of her ridiculous healing potentials so we've got joy we've got baymax so le let me line this team up for you because i just think this is going to be such a good team to use baymax so then obviously we'll have phoebus in there and then we'll go Joy. And then we'll go Chippendale. Because then what we've got is a double sort of kill team at the start. Because Chippendale is very um, are, are okay. Obviously, the main reason for Chippendale is they're special. So now what we've got is Baymax and Chippendale instant killing. Joy healing. And then we'd have Phoebus speeding them all up. So Baymax will be shooting his hand for everybody. Um, Joy will be healing quicker. And Chippendale will be shooting their acorns quicker. So that's quite good. Plus they did a double damage hit. So that's a really good start. And then it would just be having the another character kind of swap in and out. So what I'd probably do is put um, Luca on just so there's, he can heal himself up and do a bit of controlling. Maybe she goes so she can use a special really quick and just fly through everybody. Um, but I'd have probably have Bolt on and then I'd have Phoebus in, right? Because if I had Phoebus in, what you'd see is a stupid amount of speed up. So picture this now. So we've got Phoebus at the front. He's obviously the, the Don character. He's going to come in and he's going to speed up everybody. Now, I don't know if you've seen Bolt with speed up before. It's not right. And the same with Joy. So Phoebus comes in. He's stunning enemies. He's doing all of his incredible moves. Baymax flies in, freezes everybody. Chippendale flies in, kills everybody that Baymax didn't kill, and then anybody left will be stunned by Phoebus, and then Bolt will finish him off. So that's kind of my team layout. I know a lot of you are asking me what teams to use with him, and that's who I'm going to go with. I am going to try and max him out like I always do with the prize war characters. I enjoy doing the videos of doing the prize war. But yeah, I want to hear your teams below. Who do you think would make a brilliant team lineup for Phoebus? Comment it down below, and I'll see you legends all in the next one.